Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to install a new set of wheels on the F80 M3. Yes, that's the set that you saw on the previous video. So let's go ahead and tackle it very quick. Perfect. Normally, this is not the time where I should install summer tires actually summer semi slick tires because it's still kind of cold it's february but since i've got these wheels it's been like two months and i've been looking at them every single day and i want to drive them i want to test them i want to just see how the car will feel with those tires that are so meaty and so good on the back launch control all of that but yes it's still cold so normally i wouldn't advise on putting these type of tires on these colder months but because i am just so impatient Let's go ahead and do that, right? I'm still gonna have my winter set in the garage in case if I really have to put it back, I can easily swap it because I have the wheel stud and really this job can take me only 30 minutes to complete the whole car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it, kind of drive it today since the weather is like 50 something degrees and it's kind of like good and just enjoy the car on a nice presidential day. So let's go ahead and let me show you the wheels in question. If you guessed that I was gonna get a set of Apex, yes, you guessed this right. This is the Apex SM10 in, I guess, silver color. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really sure what the color I bought this set. And yep, these are the center cap from Apex. If you remember, I used to have the S Apex Arc 8 for the E36. I sold that set, it used to sit exactly right there. Then I purchased this set for the F80 M3. And you know this is paired with some good good track rubbers i mean if you know nankang you know they make really 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 good uh track tires and this set has been used for one track day and the guy only did a few laps maybe three laps that's why you see it's kind of like for a track tire it kind of look good but these chunks are really pieces that you get from you know from the track from other cars but when i drive it's gonna get out of the, of, of the tire and yeah man this is looking nice so let me go ahead and mount it i'm going to put the specs of the wheels and tires on the screen and you will be able to to see it now this is again 265 35 19 and the rear tire oh man let me actually pull that out for you the rear tire is a 305 yes wide as hell the factory rear on f80 is 285 so this is pretty much 20 millimeter wider i mean this tire is massive look at it if you want to take in comparison this 305 is actually the same size that you get on a gt3 porsche yes gt3 this is what they have on the back and that's exactly what i'm going to have right there so let me go ahead and mount it and then show you how it looks on the car i mean as you know many 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 times i've done mounting and on mounting tires so i don't really have to show you guys how to do that if you do i'm going to link one of my old videos where you can see how that is done but i'm just going to go ahead and mount this set on here and show you how it looks on the car Probably I'm going to put a 3 millimeter spacer on the front because I'm scared if it's going to touch the factory. But when I mount it, I'm going to check that and let you know if I did use that 3 millimeter spacer or not. But the way this is set with the offset, and I believe it's 25 and this is 44, it should have a nice flush look where you shouldn't have to use spacers. But because I'm a little weird with the way I like my car to sit, hence this way. I like to use spacers to kind of push it out but this is normally a nice offset where i shouldn't have to do that so let me go ahead and mount these and then show you how they look on the car i mean when you look at them right now you can clearly see the difference they are already starting to look amazing let's go ahead and drop the car Ooh. <laughs> this is gold mine I put the three millimeter spacers and then on the back I put my hand to check to make sure of the fitment and it's perfect look at the back here I mean I can probably do 
some spaces here to kind of push that out a little bit yeah because i just do not like the way it sits but i haven't rolled the car back and back and forth to have the final fitment but it's not looking bad i'm probably going to order maybe like a five millimeter spacer for this because yeah it definitely does not look like before and i want it to poke out a little more yeah I, i'm not totally satisfied with this so probably five minutes special was gonna do me a trick right here on the back but man this is looking nice let me do the other side and then uh, you see the final result again this is the other side this is kind of where i want to be you can see that this is this tire is way closer here if you look this tire is way closer to the fender arch compared to on this side that's why i want to have see the difference that's why i want to have that spacer here it is i move it back and forth so that the tires and the spring can sit properly and this is pretty much the finish product right here and yeah i definitely think i need like a five mil in here to give it the flush look that i love to have because right now i just feel like the wheel is just too inside I mean, what do you guys think? I'm not paranoid, but yeah, that's what I think for the back here. But the front, I am quite satisfied. I think the front is okay. Usually people run 275 on the front here, but since I purchased this used, it was 265. But next time I'm probably going to up it to 275 so that I don't have to use any type of spacers. But on the back there, I definitely need to have that five mil. I mean, look at it. I think I definitely need a spacer. I'm definitely going to order that and install it off camera. Here's the E46 Lodi Mighty over there. Now the final thing is to torque it to specs. 90 foot pound of torque and also install these center cap. I wanted to make sure that I installed it last so that the apex is looking like this on all of them. Only if I can do that with one hand. Uh oh, uh oh, there you go. And then there you go there you go then i can remove the plastic after that same thing on the other i just want them to display this way they are not floating caps so i kind of want them to be aligned like that and of course i cannot do that with my left hand since i'm a right-handed guy oh lord there you go and when you peel it off Ooh, looking nice. I love it. Let me actually go and peel this one since I installed it. I'm gonna wait to peel it somehow. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna do that off camera. Let me do the other side. Let me know what you think about the wheels. I dig them. I love them. And I actually think that it gives a different look. The fact that I have silver on black. Before it was kind of like two dog, like a Batman. That's why my friend were calling the car Batman Mobile. But with this, it kind of make it look a little refresh. I just like it. And yeah, I think it looks so good, so nice. And the fact that I have 305 on the back now, man, it's not just poking because of spacer. It's actually poking because I have wider tires. When we put spacers, we kind of mimic the look that we have wider tires, but we actually don't. But with this, we actually have wider tires. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Maybe 7.5 spacers on the back. What do you guys think? Let me know what you will recommend that I put here after you've seen the shots here. But man, look. Let me take you to look the poke on the back here. Man, it's just crazy. When you look at the back tire, man, that thing is so fat i'm gonna go now and take a couple of pictures since the car is still so clean after i had it detailed by the bmw dealership and yeah enjoy the car a nice warmer weather i hope i can i mean i wish i could enjoy this but i haven't driven this car in a while so i have to kind of like maybe park this for a moment enjoy this again while you know she's waiting for some repairs not repairs that because something is bad, repairs just because of preventive maintenance. When you buy, when you get E46 M2, there's a lot of things that you have to do in terms of preventive maintenance. I'm actually gonna make a separate video kind of highlighting those things. Those are kind of things that you have to do, just like I did for this car when I purchased it in the beginning. Yeah, man, I dig the look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment below. On this note, 
Thank you again for watching. See you on the next video and hopefully you stay blessed. Bye-bye.